Hello and welcome back to another installment to Pokey Fodder. Today I want to talk about, and I keep coming back to this, one day, and honestly it's never going to happen, but one day Kyogre and Groudon are going to be worth more than trash. And I'm hoping that with everybody running Rayquaza, that this will be the time to get your Kyogres and your Groudons out there. Now I will say, Groudon has no reason at all to be one MP. In fact, at this in this day and age of Pokemon Duel, Groudon should probably be a three MP figure. Like that is how trash the figure actually is. Kyogre, it has a pretty OP purple, but it is one star. Like, there's no need for it to be a one MP figure. It, it I, I, I don't, I can't, I don't get it. Like, I legit do not get. And I even said that at the time. Like, Groudon was never a one MP figure. Kyogre, it, like, never a one MP figure. But I'm hoping that with everybody running Rayquaza now because let me just tell you Mega Rayquaza is a joke and not a joke as in haha that's funny it's a joke as in what were the developers thinking it it screams of the Cosmo Energy decks all over again the fact that Mega Ray's plate comes back means you have an infinite mega <laughs> and and not just not and, and this isn't the infinite beedrill mega or the infinite salamence mega megaments meg uh yeah i said it right the first time no 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 this is hitting for almost 200 with no miss gold as big as Texas like it's absolutely ridiculous it is it is an absolutely stupid figure to be in the game it negates per it, it negates blues ginormous gold 2 MP with dragon sphere I'm pretty sure it can hop over figures maybe because it's broken right now I don't know but may, maybe it just on its own hops over figures I don't remember I don't even have the figure but it is so stupid. Why is that in the game? But I want my Kyogre to work. We're not here to talk about how dumb Mega Rayquaza is. And let's just talk about Rayquaza was, as far as these, the, the primal rage trio here, Rayquaza was always better than the other two. But now it's like, who? <laughs> Rayquaza and who? Who else? So I'm hoping that we get a water banner sometime soon and by sometime soon I mean like next week or the first of August water is so I'm using water right now just because I want to use Kyogre and it's so outclassed um, you can just chalk water up to the to the Pokemon types that have been completely forgotten in this game <laughs> with normal and ground and rock and ghost <laughs> they've just all been completely forgotten um but yeah so here we go i've got the corsola because i have no power in this water deck like there's none so i've got the corsola to at least get my kyogre and my golisopod 2 mp um like that's what it's there for manaphy for the plus 20 I don't know. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put out my um, my Tapu Fini here, which is gonna give me a little added mobility. Like here, look at this, Corsola. If the battle opponent's attack is 120 damage or below, you know, that just doesn't really rule out many figures these days. Fortunately for me, my opponent actually only has the Registeel. 
that can hit for 120. But, um, yeah, you know what? We're going to, we're going to put Kyogre out there against this uh, Glalie. I was corrected. I thought it was Glalie, but it's Glalie. And then we're going to slide our Corsola over. Not really sure what role. Or Ikorio plays on my opponent's deck. I guess that evolves and that evolves. Does he have the? He doesn't have. Doesn't seem to have the Mega Plate. So I have three one MP figures, but fortunately for me, because of Corsola, they become two MP, which is nice. Definitely can deal with that. Okay. Guess that's fair. Now, as long as he doesn't roll gold, we're good. That works. We'll slide up here. My opponent has X speed, hurdle jump, gold block, X attack. In case you were wondering, I am running full heal, double chance scoops, max revive, and the gold block. We're going to put his Glalie in serious trouble. It's risky. Oh, man, did he ever get lucky. But he doesn't have Max Arrive. And yes, I realize I'm playing a 2700 drink player. So that's, you know. It is what it is. I don't know. I kind of would just want to come here and block this off. I guess he could take his Ori... Like, Ori Cori... I, I don't understand Ori Corio's... Ori Corio's role in this deck at all. Except for to knock out my mana fee. Awesome. <laughs> God. Nice job, mana fee. <laughs> oh man. So I'll probably bring my Golisopod. Okay, he has no way of knocking this figure out. Like he has no way. He can't unless I roll miss, which is entirely possible actually. So it's a good thing I moved my uh well I have gold block, so I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, I guess he just figured out that um We'll go here. Well, that's perfect. Because that's going to let me confuse. Or just flat out knock out his Poplio, which is really nice. I think probably the only really viable... Um, water figures are going to be the like um, Mega Swampert decks but I don't have Mega Swampert so therefore I cannot run that deck now I think if he attacks me and I roll Pawnee Wish again I think I just take out his Registeel because there's nothing else with all that much damage. Man, this guy's gotten lucky twice now. Um, I'm actually just going to go here. Because if I roll Tidal Wave, I can move his um, Vibrava out of the way there. Does he have Scoop Up? He doesn't. Now, rolling Tidal Wave would be really nice because then it would move both these figures out of the way. I still don't get this. Unless he knows that I'm going to roll Miss. 
what are the odds here? See, uh, I have better odds right here. Meh. I could always just hop over. Actually. No, because he has gold block. Who would have thought that I'd roll miss? There we go. That's good. So now, we're actually going to throw him all the way out of the way. Move him over one. That is going to force him to do goal block. He does goal block. Then I take back over his entry point. Okay. Then I take back over the entry point. Then I scoop up. Surround Ori Corio. Actually, we just max revive and, and surround Ori Corio. with mana fee to give me the plus 20 damage that I need for that 132 to become 152 which will take out hammer arm and uh, let's see what happens here Ooh, I made the right choice and now let's take go lysopod Look to do some serious damage here with Golisopod. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure that that is his best option. I do have the double chances, so I have a full arsenal of, of plates here, actually. So we're gonna go double chance because I do have the option of hopping over with a favorable roll here. Perfect. We'll take that. And that is gonna be good game to my opponent. We'll just slide over here. He has to attack me, and um, I have to roll 50 into his 70, which is entirely possible. Don't be mistaken. Well, now he could roll any physical because of the X attack. But that's not going to work. We hop over. And this mean water bug takes the victory. So it gets a, a pretty underpowered deck there. Water turned out to be sufficient. As you see my monthly rating. I'll tell you what, because of the way that the gems work, the gym cup was working, I did not play league at all during the gym cup. And <laughs> I went, I got my 11-0 trophy. I think I went like, I want to say something like 13-1 uh, and one to open the gym cup. So I got the 11-0 trophy. There's Rayquaza. Now I'm hype. Cool. Although he probably has the Mega Ray. I wasn't looking. But um, I got the 11-0 trophy, and then I did get to the 30 wins. But my win record the rest of the way was complete trash. So what does my opponent have? The DNA splicer. Oh my god. Like how awful is this gonna be? So his Kirim is gonna be three MP, can soar over everything. He's got two dragons. Oi. Um Just, this is, oh man, we're gonna get rocked here. 
This is going to be ugly because I can't slow down anything. And with the double dragons, I can't. Hey, that's plus 60, which is the reason not to run Kyogre. Um, hopefully he just doesn't attack. <laughs> what are the odds of that happening? switch out those two. That worked out really well for me. But here's the thing, like I was mentioning before, he gets that plate back. Man, it worked out really nice for me there, but... Um... We're gonna have to... Think. He's probably going to DNA splice. This guy just is running all kinds of tricks here. The sad thing is, is I can't confuse his dragons because there's no point. There is a point in protecting my goal here. And I do believe that confusion on Kiram would actually be pretty decent. What? Okay then. Thank you. You know what? Yes, I do want to attack you. Well, that was a borderline horrendous play by my opponent there. Because that ruins his Rhyperior. Move my Glycopod up. Interesting move. Okay. Wasn't exactly what I wanted, but just full heal. Remove all this excludes weight. I wonder. Well, we're going to have to double chance because I don't want to lose my figure here. Whew. Nope, we're good there. Now what's he going to do? He's got no gold. Oh, he already used it. When did he use his gold block? Well, here we go. Perfect. Well, that didn't turn out so bad at all. I was expecting it to be awful. I'm going to take my win and call the water deck a 100% success. Only play it if you are way low ranked. In the higher rankings, you're gonna get absolutely demolished. Um, there we go. That was, I've had worse games, that is for sure. <laughs> so let's, let's go with this one first. I don't know if my game will register. Um, we will first take this one and we'll get 3000 coins. And then we will open this locked booster. And we will get a mortal, a Nidoran, and a rare metal rare. So there you go. Kyogre came in, did absolutely nothing against Rayquaza. But Polyrath said, I got this, boys and pretty much cleaned house right there. So there you go. I hope Kyogre and Groudon get a buff. I really, really do. They deserve it. Um, I hope Mega 
Rayquaza gets an absolute nerf. Something that negates gold attacks, I don't know. That would be nice. And uh, that's all I got for today. I hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. I hope you guys did really well in the Gym Cup. What figure do you want to see get buffed into relevance? And why do you think water decks are so far left behind? Do you think the developers just feel like Manaphy adds too much to the game? I really think Manaphy's completely outclassed at this point as well. Um, Manaphy probably needs some kind of a buff as well. But let me know in the comments below what you guys think. And until next time.